Hello everybody, TripleHorn23 coming again with another video on LSPDFR mods. Today we're going to be installing Ultimate Backup and Compulite. These two are both Bejojo mods and they are very essential in my opinion to the game. The links will be in the description. Again, if you've been following along my playlist, we are going down my Discord, my mod list with Ultimate Backup and Compulite. Previous videos we did Stop the Ped, Police Smart Radio, Traffic Policer, and future videos will be on all these. The link to my Discord will be the, in the description. I have a helper team and it's a nice spot to just hang out. If you need any help, we've got help channels. So feel free to join there. So if you click that first link in the description, it's going to bring you to this website, Ultimate Backup. Now this is a Bajojo mod as you can tell. He has a bunch of mods and I have essentially all of his mods. You can read over the features list, but we're going to go through how it works. So hit this blue download button, it's going to download a WinRAR file. Compulite is going to be the second link. It's the exact same website. You can read the features, but scroll down and hit the download button here. And it's again going to download another WinRAR file. Drag those onto your desktop for simplicity, just like previous videos. And now I want you to navigate to your uh, Grand Theft Auto folder, your main copy. Remember, do not use the one that says dash copy or whatever. Use the one that just says Grand Theft Auto 5. Go into here. Once you're here, you can go ahead and open the Compulite folder. And it's going to have Compulite here. Go on ahead and get in there. And now this is really simple. You're in your uh, Grand Theft Auto main directory. And we've got Compulite folder here. Click on the plugins folder and drag and drop it into here, into your main directory. We do not have to drag and drop the Rage Native UI since this is February 18th of 2018 and we have already installed that in previous videos right here. This is the most up to date one. After you're done with that, you can go ahead and X out of Compulite directory and open the ultimate backup directory, open the folder here. And again, just simply drag and drop the plugins into your main Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, just like that. Now what this just did is it added this LSPDFR folder and we now have Compulite.dll, Compulite and Ultimate Backup.dll and Ultimate Backup configuration. It also made two folders. Right here, we don't have to change any of these in the folders. Ultimate Backup, same way, don't change anything, but I do want you to go into Compulite configuration settings. Just double click that. It's going to open something that looks like this. So again, this is like um, stop the ped. We got our key binds up here. I have changed mine from open computer key. This is usually E. I changed mine to X and the open computer modifier key. I changed this to left control key. It's usually none default, but I think this is really easy and it doesn't conflict with any other mods. So, open the tablet, I leave this. The only other things I change is will the game be paused when open? I think this is more realistic. Default, it's set to yes. I change it to no, so it's the game doesn't pause when you open the computer. And I also change enable auto collective traffic stop driver and occupants ID. I change this to no for more realism because in real life, if you pull somebody over, you're not automatically going to have their ID. You got to walk up to their car and get their license. However, I do leave enable auto collective traffic stop plate number to yes, because again, in real life, when you pull somebody over, you can run their plate through your computer. So that makes sense. So once you get those X out and save and ultimate backup, I don't change anything in here, but you got your key is going to be B dismiss all backup is enter. Uh, that's really all I change. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't change anything in Ultimate Backup. But this is really important. Do not miss this step. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, go into the LSPDFR folder, and go to Keys, Configuration Settings, like we did with Stop the Ped. Remember, we changed all these from E to None. Go all the way to the bottom, and you're going to see Backup Menu Key equals B. You want to change this to None. If you don't do this, there's going to be conflicting menus and you're not going to know what you're pressing. So once you get done with that, you can go ahead and X out and save and we can close out of everything else and 
start up your game and I'll see you guys here in a second. Alright guys, so once you're in game and you go to a nearest police station and go on duty, you're going to notice another black box. This is just, again, adding new buttons to the police smart radio because we just added ultimate backup and CompuLite. So it's asking traffic stop. This is just traffic stop backup to on foot. You can enable these or disable these as you wish, but I disable all these. Felony stop on foot. Felony stop in vehicle, I enable that. K9 backup, you can enable this. Ambulance, spike strips to on foot. Disable that because you're not going to call for spike strips when you're on foot. In vehicle though, enable that. Roadblock on foot again, you're not going to disable that. Roadblock in vehicle, you can if you want. Female, backup, group backup, fire department, I enable these, panic buttons. And once you're done with that, you can, it's going to unload LSPDFR like it does every time. And once it's loaded back in, you can get in any police car that you want. In future videos, we're going to be installing police cars. So go on down to, um, oh, that's right, it, it, you need to go on duty again because it unloaded LSPDFR. So go back in your police station, go on duty, go to police garage, and select any car you want. All right, so once you're in your car, go ahead and go out here, ow. And I'm just gonna pull somebody random over just so I can show you guys CompuLite and ultimate backup. So um, I'm not gonna take that call. It's left shift on your, why do people break check me? Left shift on your keyboard E, we'll pull somebody over. That'll soon be changed when we install ELS. Okay, so once you pull somebody over, you can press your key to open. Uh, CompuLite minus left control X, and it's gonna open this. And it's not going to show a ped record because I have that set to no, but it would show you his um, his license and stuff. But it does show us the car plate. So if we click on that, we can see that its registration is expired, insurance is expired. Stolen vehicle, no. It's got his owner, the owner, the color, all that. So we can walk up to the car. And we can get his driver's license. We're going to be fixing Kiflom soon as well. And now that we have this, his license, we can go back to our car, open the computer again, and it's going to show his name now under PED records. So we can see that he has citation records for public intoxication, loitering, seatbelt violation, but his driver's license is valid. He doesn't have a warrant. He's not on probation, but he does have expired um, insurance and registration. So we can hit create citation. You can get more violations if you want. I uh, will show how to install that in a future video as well. But for now, this is going to be document related, expired vehicle insurance and expired vehicle registration. Just check those over here. Submit citations. And it'll say a pending court case has been issued. And it wants us to give the tickets to him. So if we walk up to the car and you got to press left control and page down we'll give him the ticket just like this and now it's gonna tell us to return to the our vehicle and he will leave and there he goes so another thing you can do is if you go into CompuLite and go to court cases it'll show his court case here and his outcomes are pending but you can go ahead and reveal them so we see he was fined $228 for the expired insurance and $213 for the registration. Uh, so that's about it with CompuLite. Another thing to note, if you're out of your car and you press left control and zero on your numpad, he will pull up a tablet. I don't know why it's not working for me. Oh, make sure you have numlock on. That's why it wasn't working. You gotta have numlock on and you can pull up the exact um, CompuLite. If you guys didn't know, if you press M, you can edit a bunch of options in LSPDFR, but if you go to police radio, you can select no that you're not available for calls. So now that's CompuLite. Ultimate backup, if you press B on your keyboard, 
it'll pull up this menu right here. And you can select your response type. Code three is like lights and sirens. Code two is urgent, but not um, lights, um, no siren. You can ask for local patrol, state patrol, female, female. But the cool thing is if we get into a pursuit with somebody, it will um, it'll change that menu actually. So um, I'm gonna try to get into a pursuit and I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, so we're in a pursuit now with that van that you can see up ahead. If you press B on your keyboard, it's gonna bring up the menu and we've got some more options like spike strip support, roadblock support, SWAT noose, local air support. So if I, I'm gonna call in air support and it looks like that officer just pitted the vehicle. And you can call in spike strips. But they've got them stopped. But you can see when you're in a pursuit, it changes your backup menu. If you go to your police smart radio, it'll also have spike strips and roadblocks and request pit. So that is ultimate backup. And it just it replaces the default backup. You, you can see our air support right there. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Um, again, yeah, feel free to join my Discord. The link will be in the description. If you have any problems with LSPDFR, we will try to help you best as possible. I also have mods listed there, which I'll be doing future videos on. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out for future videos, and I will see you guys next time.